It happens all the time, whether you're driving on Route 1 or the Turnpike. People cut you off while they're yakking on a cell phone, or they weave through traffic as if they're heading for the checkered flag at the Indy 500. There has to be a better way, and some people in Detroit think they have the answer. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology is, uh, enables communication between vehicles, which then provides you with active safety and driver assistance applications. It could provide further information such as, this is my size, I'm about to make a lane change, etc., etc. How does it know that you're about to do something stupid, though? <laughs> it just assumes it. They know you're an American. And from New Jersey. So we have an automatic braking system in the vehicle, which I'll turn on now. And we're going to do the same scenario. You're going to drive toward a stop vehicle. You know, it's as if you weren't paying attention. Um, you know, you, you were distracted. Except this time, I don't want you to apply the brakes. So the system will determine that the driver's not taking any kind of evasive action to avoid the collision and it will automatically apply the brakes to bring the vehicle down to a stop. So we're seeing the vehicle. And now we're seeing a caution. And okay, let it go. There we go. Ah. Actually brake for see. me. Yep. Mm. Daimler, Chrysler, and Volvo also are working on crash avoidance systems that should be on the market in five to seven years. The trick will be in developing a language that will allow different makes of vehicles to communicate with each other. In East Rutherford, Joe Perrone for the Star Ledger.